Good morning, everyone. This is Gary Kay, and you are going to see a great video demo today. I'm joined with Laurent Meja. Laurent is the Director of Product Management for Managed Switches, Pro AV products, basically, for Netgear. And of course, you know Netgear. They're the big uh, routing switch manufacturer that has entered our industry by helping AV over IP companies. Laurent, how are you doing today? Hey, Gary. Thank you very well, and thanks for having me. Thank you for being on. Um, Netgear has become sort of a standard in our industry. Uh, you, thanks to you, really. I mean, you're the first person I met from Netgear. And you, you told me the very first time we ever talked that your objective was to basically provide a service to the industry to understand how to put AV on a network more than a product. And I think you, you took this sort of like um, educational mentality of explaining sort of how network uh, switches work and how we put a, a video and audio on a network. And in fact, recently, last year, you started a division of uh, Netgear that actually designs AV systems, AV over IP systems for free. How is all that going right now? Well, it is spectacular. So you're right. We were, I believe, uh, meeting in the uh, E4 uh, yeah. uh, show. And um, well, I mean, it's already a year now. And the Pro AV design at netgear.com, Pro AV design at netgear.com has been spectacular. So the team is really busy, but that's for good, right? And uh, it really corresponds to, to the mission. We don't want to complexify things. Other IT vendors do it very well. <laughs> so we, we said, well, I mean, we have the capacities now. We have good software, good hardware. But, you know, customers, AV installers, consultants, they don't need a product. They need service and support. So this right. team is busy across U.S., Europe and Asia Pacific. And that's great because the UK boys, they can support the East Coast, right? When California is still sleeping. Right. And we, we not only design big ones, of course we like it, but you know, as soon as there is a need for advice at the design stage, the configuration stage, even the troubleshooting stage, there's always one person dedicated to one project. And uh, now it's more industrial and the ETA is like two hours and we are very happy. We can say that it really sustained this initiative for making Netgear relevant in the pro AV uh, industry. Yeah, and designing systems over networks is something new for most integrators. So they should take advantage of this service. Uh, and the URL to do that again is what? ProAVDesign at netgear.com. So it's it. an email. ProAVDesign at netgear.com. Okay. So one of the things we're going to do today is you're going to demonstrate um, sort of the new user interface, the AV user interface for uh, the AV over IP line. So why don't you share your screen and kind of walk us through it, if you don't mind. Thank you, Gary. And um, thank you for, for that. So what I'm going to do, I will demo rapidly the user interface that comes with the new 1G AV line that is called the M4250 series that is just launching as we speak. So it's so only one it... gig AV over IP. So this would be for sort of like the NVX products, the NAV products from, from, uh, from, from Extron. It'd be for the, for the um, Dante AV, uh, which is one gig, anything that's one gig. This is correct. Not uh -huh. that because we did not do one gig before, you bet, yeah. right? But we, we were very active in the 10 gig Ethernet world yeah. with SDVOE yeah. and we felt a, a profound need for more cost effective 1G, one gig. Because yeah. EMX customers or NVX customers or QCs or NDI, you know, the tree casters or even yeah. the Dante AV customers, they, they, they like to use, let, let's say the truth, right? Cost effective switches with yeah. a Navy look. So what you see is a standardized new platform with the ports on the back, right? And yeah. the front is really neat. But we said, well, that's not enough. Instead of just coming with the new hardware, and I can tell you that's good hardware, we also uh, came after long discussions with a new user interface that I want to show you. So the okay. switches, bear with me, okay? The switches, they still come as usual with the 19 yeah. interface, everything. Yeah. But in addition to that, the switches come with the second interface that you can uh, just act activate by launching the colon 8080 after the switch yep. ip address and see what we now are offering 
to the Pro EV community is a totally new user experience with a much simplified UI that is only for AV. So a few details, CPU utilization, memory utilization, but the first thing I wanted to show you is the fans. Guess what? Conference rooms, recording studios, a lot of environments are noise sensitive. So now the software knows how to tell the switch, hey, I want you to be super quiet or hey, I want you to shut down the fans and operate in fanless mode across the entire range. But let me get to the point. So far, AV customers coming to IT vendors, and really I mean it, Netgear is an IT vendor primarily. Yeah. Uh, they were coming to us with Dante, AMX, AVB, uh, NDI, a lot of acronyms when our response was, oh yeah, easy, DSCP, MDNS, OSPF, uh, you, you know, so it was like a, a very strange way of discussing. So now we said, that's it, that's enough. Network profiles are the way to go from now on. We show a list of templates that are labeled correctly so that AV customers can understand immediately because they know which type of device they will deploy. Yeah. Audio with Dante, yeah. audio with AVB, with AES67, or uh, QSYS, or they want to deploy NVXs, AMXs, uh, NDIs, any Dante video, uh, video device, or they want to do both at the same time because now some devices can de-embed audio and send video and QSYS audio and AS67 audio or yeah. Dante audio. Yeah. So I would like to take just a quick example with you, Gary, because you, you got this uh, little new M4250 switch. That's a, that's a 12 port switch with two fiber uplinks, very easy. And you want to uh, do Dante first on the first four ports, okay? You will then as an installer, find the audio Dante, select it, you will say, well, I want to do Dante on the four, four first ports. Let's give it a name like Dante. And uh, if that's the uh, primary one, let's label it this way, Dante primary. If there is already a VLAN for Dante, mm -hmm. we just tell the switch what it is, or maybe yeah. I want to create a VLAN 20. I will give it a color and let's say green. You save it and instantly, you have four green ports that are provisioned with the right specification for Dante because in yep. the background, everything was sent to the switch to sustain the quality of service, the DSCP, the MDNS, and the PTP profile that is adequate for Dante. Okay. So this is really new. And now if you want to do, you spoke about Dante AV, okay, which is, um, uh, which is a, a, a video of IP, I can actually then select a second profile and say, well, for the four next ports, let's uh, give it a name. This time I want to do a video profile, but my name will be Dante AV. I don't want to uh, put everything in the same VLAN, so let's create another VLAN for it. Maybe find a light blue color and save it. And instantly you have your second group of ports that are f now ready to uh, uh, connect video over IP devices with the right IGMP, courier, mm -hmm. fast leave, everything that is required for video over IP. So it's and all auto configured for you. Exactly. So I could show you the kitchen, right? Because of course, yeah. what we have done here, it's just telling the switch, instructing the switch. If we were logging to the IT interface, that's the yeah. world like before. So no right. change, but we wanted to simplify it. And really we think that moving forward, this will simplify network deployments because yeah. the uplinks can be uh, taken as a link aggregation, because if you want to go to another switch, you will say, well, my uplinks, I want to group them, right? This mm -hmm. is going to be my lag. I want to uh, 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 create a trunk port using a primary, I don't know, management. Mm -hmm. I'm going to save it and my switch now is ready. I just need to configure a second one with the same trunk and all the profiles, everything will be automatically uh, 
uh, happening because the switches now can discuss each other and we can build fantastic network topologies. Here it's a single switch, but we could do half a dozen or maybe a hundreds of these switches in the, in the network topology. So this is really new. And so you can store the profile and then copy it over to sw uh, from switch to switch to switch. Ex well, uh, this is um, uh, not yet. Okay. Okay. What we do is that we still want, we still need to tell each switches which ports are green, which ports okay. are blue, and then we just activate the trunk mode so that okay. yes, the interconnect is automated. You're okay. right. Okay, but 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 if let's say you're deploying a hundred exactly the same way, you're still going to have to go through and program each of those right now. Oh, this is a this is a good question. If we were to install a hundred of them the same way, yeah. we have other means, right? We could okay. save the configuration and mass deploy it. Of That's course, what I was with asking. network yeah. management okay. platform. But okay. if they are slightly different, you're right. We need to configure each switches. But see, this is this is simplified. And again, I don't show you the yeah. kitchen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You only get you're you're doing you're you're sort of customize this just for an AV application. Of course, you can go back and custom configure every port. But at the same time, if you've got this ability to do it, because you're taking into consideration everything an AV switch would need or an, a switch would need for an AV deployment. Yeah, um, this is and is, and is this interface only available for the one gig products, or is the same interface available for ten gig? Well, so the 4250s, it's a new line with um, yeah. uh, plenty of switches for one gig and with a little bit of 10 gig for the aggregation. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, right now, this AV interface is only for this AV line 4250. But I okay. agree with you, it would be a very good idea to port yeah. this interface to the other switches that we use for Pro AV for the 4300s, the 45 yeah. SDVOE and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is, a, um, this is very impressive. Keep going. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, I just wanted to uh, add a small thing because if you go and, and discuss with any system integrator, they will tell you, wow, these switches, they know how to give DHCP addresses, you know, because mm -hmm. the, the NVX and all that, they need yeah. DHCP to have an IP address. And it was so difficult so far. So by discussing with those customers, we said, why wouldn't we uh, integrate that DHCP function right there. So remember, you, you got those green uh, mm -hmm. Dante uh, ports. So let's go back to that profile, edit it. If you want, you can actually enable just toggling this, the IP settings, deliver, I mean, fix an IP address. I don't know, a class A, like 10, 10, 0, 100 for that VLAN, for the, for mm -hmm. the Dante. And then, well, you need to give a subnet mask, of course, because that's a class A. And then you can enable the HTTP server right there. And if you want, you can use that VLAN as a router and uh, you can save it. Uh, of course, I would need to have a, a DNS server, but let me um, uh, just show you that now you are delivering DHCP addresses to your uh, Dante devices just intuitively, which really much you know, was quite complex before. Yeah, this takes, out, this takes out the need to do that inside the device, basically. Exactly. And uh, well, um, AVB is supported. This is very new. Uh, mm -hmm. So far, uh, we were not supporting AVB on the Pro AV higher end switches we got. So now we have an AVB profile. And uh, well, if you, you know, discuss with the uh, 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 Biomp customers, for instance, yeah. for Tessera and all that, you know, AVB is a monster, right? I mean, yeah. AVB is quite complicated. You have MMRP, MSRP, uh, AV, AV. Uh, a lot of acronyms and a lot of settings. So <laughs> this profile, you select a yellow color and you want to do AVB on the other ports, you're done. Just need a small license, copy and paste in there and the switch will be AVB as well. So this is what I wanted to uh, demo to you. And I believe this is quite unique because again, um, well, uh, so far, it was it was complicated. You know, you you had to follow strict Audinate guidelines, QCIS yeah. guidelines, uh, a lot of how tos and KBs. Now everything is factored in and approved by those manufacturers into this interface. 
And is this available now, the 4250 uh, series? Is it available now? Yes, it is available. It was launching on the 17th of uh, September. Okay. And uh, well, I mean, this is the beginning, you know, so uh, yeah. I'm afraid we have uh, quite an important backlog, as we say in our language yeah. right now, but uh, the mass production is coming early October. And um, uh, the five new 4250s are uh, uh, at Almo, at Herman Pro EV, all the uh, Pro EV distributors that, uh, you know, carry our solutions. And mm -hmm. we, we hope that in the future, uh, we will have plenty of uh, other uh, types of uh, port counts in this series. Well, congratulations. Uh, I, you know, I've always looked to you since we met to, get, to keep up the education of AV over IP because uh, no one knows it better than you, I think, in the industry. So thanks for all you've done, not just for me, but for the industry. And of course, Netgear, you can find them at netgear.com. Um, I'll also link uh, Netgear in the description of this podcast. I'll also link you, Laurent, uh, so that people can connect with you on LinkedIn. And I appreciate you doing this demo. This is great. And I hope that everyone learned something today from this uh, video demo. And of course, uh, if you're interested, if you're doing one gig AV over IP, which statistically everyone's doing, it's about 90% of the AV over IP market. The 4250 series is available now, it starts shipping in larger quantities in October. And uh, of course, you can go to netgear.com.